Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. As you can see, Martin's still with me, following me around and fighting all foes. Um, what I did off screen between the last episode and this is I just leveled up to level 2 and lost my clothes again for some reason. Um, yeah, so I did that. I was going to do some grinding to get there, but in the end I actually went around to all the fighters guilds and majors, majors guilds, uh, got a load of free stuff out of there and sold it and then paid for training. And I've still got 1600 gold left after doing that, so that's pretty good and a quick, easy way to get my level up to level 2, which is, you know, a pretty strong character for a level 2. One level up and I'm 60 strength, 60 endurance, 55 speed. Um, yeah, so I'll just put some armor back on, shall I? So we can go off and do some questing. And the plan for this episode is we are just going to go to Fort Nickel, which is a good place to know because it's got respawning loot and we haven't been there yet. And also we'll do a fighter's guild quest or a contract or whatever it is. Um, so we'll go to Chain Hall and get that. Um, should give us some more well, reward. I don't think the reward's particularly massive, actually, thinking about it. But we'll do that anyway. It's good to get some of these quests under our belt. And it helps bring our skills up in the early days. So, Fort Nickel is around this area, somewhere around here. So we'll go to Chestnut Handy Stables, if I can click on it. That's a short walk down here. take the horse I suppose. I hardly ever use horses. I don't know why. Just find them hard to control and they get in the way. They do help attack when you're being attacked but I don't know. I end up attacking them instead most of the time. By accident of course. It's like the sun shining. I guess it is kind of. Anyway, so we just go through this little village here, which there is a little side quest for, but it's a very boring one. If I do do it, I'll definitely edit it. Involves fighting ten slaughterfish. I think the reward is okay, something like water breathing uh, ring, maybe. There's Fort Nickel appearing in the distance. The rest of it will probably pop up probably do with some kind of mod or setting to stop things popping up randomly and pop up a bit earlier. But that's not really a problem. So I'll just go up round to the entrance to this dungeon. It's a pretty small dungeon this. And as I say it's got respawning loot so it's quite handy every few days. So when you've been doing a few quests you can just visit back here it's quite an easy one, not too many enemies, and most of them fight each other, so it's, a, it's actually a really nice one. It's um, oh, something's attacking me, but I can't see anything. Oh, Martin must have dealt with it. Well done, Martin. Yeah, he can pretty much own anything. Um, yeah, and I had a interesting idea. It was when I was ransacking all the Majors Guilds earlier. I had a luck potion. Strong potion of luck. Gives you an extra 20 luck. Now, I don't really see much use for this. I'm sure there is. And I'm sure I can make another potion. So, I was going to sell it. But I thought if I take this now, then go into the fort. Maybe I'll make the loot that much better, 20 points better. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get this. Ow. 
can't I hit this bastard? So much for the luck. Fucking arrows sticking out of me. suppose this luck potion did much. Right, so... Well, oh, that's good. So we've got these two doors which we just have to unlock once and they'll s remain open for the rest of eternity. So we don't have to open those anymore. We've got these chests with some random loot in. That loot is marginally better than it usually is at this level, although it still looks pretty rubbish. Um, sometimes you only get like five gold, so yeah, not too bad. This is the interesting part. So through here is a kind of strange room with water and two sets of enemies that are opposed to each other. Huh? We can see some on the left, and on the right there's some more. And all you have to do is initiate a fight by attacking someone. And then you can hide and they will just fight each other. They will fight you if they see you. But you can just let them fight it out and then you can go and take all their stuff. And the stuff here is... well, Martin's decided he's going to get involved and fire magic at them. Why not? Charm to, apart from whoever did that frost spell, did hurt me because where's Martin gone? Maybe Martin. I see. Martin is. See, he's just so violent, he just attacks people. Well done, anyway. Um, so I'll get a torch out. And for some reason my hotkey for torch keeps disappearing. Anyway. Torch. So maybe everyone can see. There are a few chests down here. Always potions. And every now and then you get something really nice. So there's a scroll, some gold repair one. That's all pretty useful for a simple dungeon. And it, after a few level ups you start coming here and getting enchanted weapons and armour and things like that. So It's a very handy place to have on your map all the way through the game really. Obviously at level 2 most of the stuff's pretty boring. And then we have a few more chests to loot as well. 45 gold, not bad you see. Lots of repair hammers we're getting as well. Lots of potions that we'll just sell for gold. Go through here. So it's a small and self-contained dungeon. There's no kind of other levels. It's all just one area. There's just two more chests. One here. If 
only I could do any kind of lock picking skill. Yeah, I'll take that. Then we can go back to Imperial City, sell the stuff, see how much gold we've got. That's not where I want to go. Yeah, go around here. Kind of symmetrical almost, not quite, but there are chests mirrored on different sides, and that's the final chest. Very easy, apparently. Um, but, oh, fuck. It's like seven lockpicks, Jesus. That really wasn't worth it, but never mind. It's open now, so actually, uh, that's the other thing I love about this place, doesn't matter how many lockpicks you use, if you open them all, they remain open now, so when I come back in a few days' time, possibly at a higher level, there'll be some great stuff, and I won't have to unlock anything. Right, so now we've done that, it's on the map, we've got some loot, let's just, let's just go and quickly sell some stuff. What's this? Oh, I've put on the enchanted uh, armour, have I? Didn't really mean to put that on. Ah, that's the only one I've got. Hmm. Never mind. Doesn't really matter too much at this stage. That's the point. If we go back to the arena, I think... I can explain why I had no clothes on. I had one fight to raise my blunt and block skills and heavy armor skills all at the same time. Well met. And I think I probably put all my stuff in here. No, where's my stuff gone? Damn it! Damn, 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 damn. What the hell have I'm I been a busy doing? Man. What is it? I shouldn't put stuff in that cabinet, really. All I did is put my. Uh, my other light armor in there, but oh, screw it. May that be a lesson to you all, or to me anyway, that I haven't learned. I'm not really missing much. So we want to go to Chain Hall, go and get a little mission quest, whatever you want to call it. Why am I going this way? I do not know. Oh, that's where I wanted to go. Let's go to the Fighters Guild, go and find the Orc. I have to say, I'm not very good at Orc names, I always forget them. But that's the one. You here looking for work, meat? Maybe you want a contract? Maybe you want a punch in the face? I suppose I've got something for you. We need a weapons shipment delivered to Desolate Mine. That's your job. Right, simple move as that. Your ass, boot. Yeah, I'll move my ass when I want. So, uh, how do we get out of this place? Um, Hi, isn't that abandoned house, sir? So, desolate mine. It is in the opposite direction. But Chain Hall's an interesting place. I always find that if you try and exit where you think you're exiting, you end up in the wrong place. But actually, this looks right. This will do nicely. The desert mine should just be over here somewhere. run through the forest. Nice day for it. I don't remember how far it is now.
think there might be some goblins around here. So, um, I'm sure Martin will sort them out for me. Why have a dog and bark yourself? Um, I'm sure it isn't this far. Martin gone. They're doing something. Martin. Oh, there you are. It didn't sound very pleasant, whatever you were doing to him. I need a better weapon than this. Um, one thing I did steal from one of the fighter skills is fine steel longsword, which is as good as my claymore, but it's one handed, so I could use a shield if I had one, but I don't at the moment. I should have nicked a cravat shield or something. Alright, let's go speak to these people. Actually, first let's nick stuff. Right, a chest. Easier said than done, as always. You must be the reinforcement from the guild. Good. I hope you brought weapons for us. You've made it, and just in time. We've got trouble with goblins here. I'll take the bow. You give the weapons to my other two men. Okay. You too. Ah, you've got the weapons. Let's talk about that weapons shipment you brought. Excellent. I long to sink a blade into some goblin flesh. A blade! Go. Fantastic! Let us take the fight to these vile creatures. I'm waiting. I guess you'll You're take the You're the one hammer. with the weapons shipment, right? Let's talk about that. Good, I need a weapon. I'm looking forward to bashing some skulls in. A hammer! Excellent! Good for bashing in puny goblin skulls. Okay. It's a bit strange how they turned up here without any weapons at all. Uh, someone's invisible. Who's that? It's down here. Nothing. Uh, Did they just run straight past these goblins? Loot this place while we're at it.
Oh, do they all go? Down here? Oh, that was pretty easy. Martin certainly did his fair share of fighting. I'd love to know what weapon he's got actually. He's, uh, he's got a, da a shock dagger and then he does all this magic, so he's pretty good. All taken care of now. Good work there, soldier. Get back to Grokosh and get your payment. Good going. Yeah, I did alright, didn't I? Much I didn't do much. I let them do all the work. He's still alive, and he's still alive. I think you get extra payment if you don't let any of them die, so that's quite nice. Episode. If I get out of this place. <laughs> Hate caves sometimes. To Chaden Hall. Haven't you taken care of that weapon shipment yet? Those weapons won't deliver themselves. Well, now you, you got it. the weapons there and cleared the mine with no casualties. Better than I expected from you. Here's your reward and a little bonus. You too. Hundred golds. Awesome. So that's it for one episode, I think. That'll be enough for now. And next up, I think we'll try and fit in a couple of side quests. Try and level up to level three along the way. I'll have a think about which quest to do next. I'm kind of making it up as I go along, but I'm gonna think up two small quests to do and get some more nice loot, I think. Until next time, see you guys. <laughs>